Hi everybody, it's Mike with the 1974 GMC Motorhome. I'm um, going to do a little bit of rust repair. So this is my fan, or not my fan support, my radiator support, the core support. And you can see that it's pretty rotted out in this one corner. The rest of it's in pretty good shape. So I'm going to do a couple of things today. I'm going to I'm going to cut that metal out and weld in a new piece. Um, and then I'm going to and I'll see if I can't uh, figure out how to repost his video, but one of the one of the guys that uh, does some work on these motorhomes, he has kind of, I'll call it a hack, basically. You take this, split it on both sides, and then weld a piece of angle iron on each side of the split, and uh, bolt it together so that basically you can leave this upper part, the upper part of the core support in the uh, motorhome, take the bottom off and drop the radiator out should you need to. Now hopefully I don't have to take the radiator out again, but I'm going to do his little hack. Seems as I gotta do some welding work on this uh, thing anyway. You can see there's my, uh, my repair. And so basically I have everything bolted together to just kind of hold its shape. And then I'm gonna take an angle grinder and cut, uh, cut that metal out, fill it back in. And then I'll uh, make a couple of marks and split the uh, split the core support to uh, make it easier for future repair. The nice thing is, is it looks like it could take out these two bolts, and then two bolts there, and two bolts there, and then drop the radiator right straight down, really without even messing with the fan or or anything else. So, as you can see, where the you know where the connections are outboard you could get to those and, and disconnect them and slide that radiator right down uh, next to the shroud so I think that's a it's a good thing good hack I'm gonna I'm gonna do it like I said I hope to never pull the radiator out again but you never know the way my luck is it could come out right after it goes in so just a couple other things I did uh, get another piece of uh, glass in here so that's real close to where it needs to be just a little bit of uh, finish work there and then I did I haven't completely cleaned it out I've done a little bit of sanding I uh, put a piece of mat in here so I've got to trim this out clean this up a little bit but basically I've got this just solid so my leaks should be taken care of and the structure is, is good again. So the other thing I did is I completed taking all of the lights off the front and the back. I'm going to sand this, clean that all up and paint it and then put the new lights on. So we're moving along. We're, we're kind of going back together a little bit at a time. Some stuff comes apart. Some stuff goes back together. But uh, so there, I guess, uh, I guess that's all I got for right now. Uh, I am... Uh, Helping a friend with his 1950 Dodge Power Wagon. We got some work going on that. The transmission's out of it. And beautiful truck. Really cool. Really cool vehicle from 1950. So uh, I guess maybe I'll get you a picture of the front of it. Pretty, pretty mean beast there. Big winch on the front. That's uh, PTO driven. But uh, pretty cool. All right, everybody, have a great day. All right, here we go. Got the patch clamped in place. We'll get that welded up. And uh, we'll go from there. So I just wanted to show you. There's my angle grinder that we've used many times to, to clean up. There's the die grinder with a cutoff wheel in it. And here's the, basically... There's the piece of scrap metal I found that I just kind of traced that on and cut that out of. So we'll be moving along soon. All right. So you can see the patch is welded in there. I did get rid of the other uh, holder of the for the rubber for the radiator. It was pretty uh, pretty rusty and corroded. So I'll have to figure out if I'm going to replace those or if they just sit on the bottom and that'll be fine. Then you can see I've got uh, two pieces of angle iron that I've drilled and bolted and I lined those right up 
on the crack. There's one on that side too. And then, like I said, nuts and bolts. So I'm gonna weld the lower piece to the lower part of the shroud, weld these nuts to the angle iron, um, and then I'll put the two together. You can see where I've cleaned up there, and I'll weld this to the upper, and that way they'll separate. And again, this is not my idea, and I'll see if I can't repost uh, that gentleman's video that talked about it, but it uh, sounded like a great idea to me because it was a pain getting this radiator out. So uh, this will be a, a heck of a lot better. And, you know, it's like buying a brand new snowblower. Put this, put this in, I'll probably never have to take the radiator out. All right, we'll show you a, a, a finished video or finished uh, view of it. Thanks. All right, there we go. You can see the two pieces of angle iron welded on. And then the, uh, the bolts running through, and the bolts, or the nuts I should say, are also welded. So, you know, we can just, uh, I'm not going to touch that because it's hot, but you can see if we uh, spin that out, that those are uh, indeed two separate pieces that have been uh, bolted back together. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm watching the I'm watching the wrench while uh, like I said, I'm not touching it because it's probably still hot. But you can see there, two separate pieces. So just quick here from the bottom. There's where that patch was welded in. We'll get it. Uh, so you got a little uh, cleanup left to do, but. That'll be a that'll be a nice addition. So, all right, everybody, I'm going to sign off, and I'm going to we won't be posting any videos for a little bit. I got to run down to Florida and pick my parents up and bring them home. So, you guys have a great one. Take care, and we'll talk soon.